Hello friends, I'm Swapna Shetty. In this video, we will be able to distinguish between different types of protocols that is stateful and stateless protocols, define session tracking and apply different session tracking techniques. So a protocol is said to be stateful if the server has got the memory, that is if the server is able to identify the client request. For example, FTP, that is file transfer protocol. So every time uh, client details will be stored at web server in the client socket like client IP address and client time of interaction. All such details will be stored at the client socket. So FTP protocol is said to be stateful. That is, it will have the memory of prior client connections and it will identify each client request. Whereas a protocol is said to be stateless if the server do not have memory of prior client connections and is unable to distinguish one client request from that of the other in a series of client server interactions like HTTP hypertext transfer protocol. So a server that has stateful protocol implementation is not scalable. That is if we use FTP, the server is said to be not scalable. What is scalable is uh, when FTP protocol is used, as the client request comes to the web server, it utilizes the maximum number of resources at the server. So as the number of client requests increase, the performance decreases. As if the number of client requests increase, the performance should not decrease. So such a server is said to be scalable. If you are using FTP protocol, the server is not scalable. But if you are using HTTP protocol, the server is scalable. That is, if the client requests increase, the performance will not decrease. But the limitation of HTTP protocol is it is stateless. That is, it doesn't have the memory of prior client connections. So to in a business online, in an online business applications, such type of protocols cannot be used because every time the client connection is lost. So it is the duty of the programmer to handle such situation. So for that, we need to go for a session tracking. So while using HTTP protocol, it should not uh, the it should not forget the uh, connection of the client. That is, the HTTP protocol should be able to remember the prior client requests, so that the connection is not lost. So what is basically a session is it's a time period during which the server will be able to recognize the client uniquely. And the ability of a server to recognize the client uniquely is nothing but a session tracking. So we basically have four techniques, HTTP session, cookies, hidden form fields, and the URL rewriting. So what is HTTP session is? It's basically an interface. And in order to retrieve the HTTP session object, we need to call get session method on request object so that the session starts. So when this line is encountered, that is HTTP session session equals to request dot get session. In the background, each client will be assigned a unique session ID, so that when the first request is coming to the container, the that is a servlet engine, it creates a session ID to the client, and when the response is sent back to the client, the session ID is also sent along with the response so that the container will be able to identify each client uniquely. So once a session object is created, then we need to deal with attribute concepts. So we need to uh, call set attribute and uh, for setting the name value pairs and get attribute for retrieving the values. And finally, we can end a session explicitly by calling session invalidate method. So let's see an example of it using a session. So I create a new dynamic web project saying session tracking techniques. And use 2.5, then say finish. So 
So you can see session tracking techniques got project got created. Now I need a HTML file first. So I just create a HTML file. Say it as index.html. in which I will have a form action equals to I'll just say first servlet in which I'll ask the user to enter username that is input type equals to text and name equals to username that is uname and then a submit button so when the user clicks on submit it has to go to first servlet so what is there in the first servlet is com.educators package class name is first servlet then say next and in this I just need do get method so just say finish so first is I need to add jar jar files for that build path configure build path add external jars and go to the tomcat directory and in the lib folder you can see servlet api dot jar file so just add it so that all your errors will be removed next is in the do get method i need to write the content type and all that is response dot set content type is text or HTML and next is response dot set content type is text or HTML and next response dot get writer to write it on the web page print writer object next is I need to get the username from the form that is request dot get parameter of uname store it in a string variable string str and simply say out dot print ln of welcome str so next is I would create a session here now that is HTTP session which is located in a package java x dot servlet dot HTTP package so HTTP session session equals to request dot get session now after creating the session of the session object then I need to set the attribute like the name is like you name and the value is str and next I have to give a link to go to the second servlet out.println that is the anchor tag href equals to 
second servlet. That is visit. When I click on visit link, it has to go to the second servlet and finally close. This is my first servlet in which I have just created a session object and using session object, I have used attribute concept to set the name value pair. So in the second servlet, what to be done is just print hello username. That is com dot educators. Second servlet so I just need all the response objects here so I just do the same thing the do get now here again create the HTTP session object session equals to request dot get session object and I need to pass here false it means that use the session which is already created if it is true then it creates a brand new session object which I don't require here I just wanted to use the already existing session object so I just passed false then say session dot get attribute of the uname so here the return type of get attribute is object so I just pass it in string n then typecast it to string and now simply print it out dot print ln hello n then close it so let's run the html page first run as run on server session tracking techniques need to be run so just say finish and restart server So enter username so I just enter the name and then say click on submit so it went to the first servlet and printed welcome Swapna and a link so when I click on the link I got this Swapna username also in the second servlet so first here we have created a session object so then on the session object I have set the attribute and in the second session servlet I'm not creating a new session rather than I'm all using the already existing session and getting the attribute so this is how we use session HTTP session so for every client a unique session ID is created so if you want to check what is that session ID I can simply say System dot out dot print ln session dot get ID and let me also do the same thing in the first server that is session dot get ID. So let's run and check once again. Run as run on server. Finish. So 
So you can see this is the session ID created and when I click on visit the same session ID so the second server is also using the same session object. So cookies, the next technique is cookies. This, this is nothing but it's a name value pair of textual information exchange between client and server. So it is created programmatically by the programmer at server side and sent to the browser along with the response headers. That is when the browser is sending the first request, server is adding the cookie to the response and sending the response to the browser. And when next time when the client is requesting to the server, along with the request cookie is also sent to the server so that the server will identify the client uniquely. So we basically have two types of cookies, session cookies and the persistent cookies. So session cookie is not, is not stored in the file system of the client machine whereas persistent cookie is stored in the file system of the client machine. That is even if the browser is closed that cookie will not die for a persistent cookie. So the use why should we go for cookies is it identifies the client uniquely and also it keeps track of the user preferences and to promote targeted advertisements in web. For example if I have to send a medical book ebook so it has to be sent only to the doctors who can use that medical ebook. So cookies are basically used to send the required documents or required image files to the concerned users only and not to everyone. So to promote that targeted advertisements in the web we use cookies. And how do we create cookies that is persistent cookies. First we need to use a cookie class. We need to create a cookie object and pass name value pair and then set max age and pass the time period till what time the cookie has to be exist and so on. If it is zero that means it's it's nothing but it's a session cookie. It dies as soon as the session ends and then add the cookie to the response by using add cookie method. Then to retrieve those cookies we have request.getCookies method which returns an array of cookies. So from that array of cookies we can get name and the values. So let's see an example of using cookies. The same example The same example like I take the same HTML form and the first servlet here instead of creating a session object so instead of cooking uh, instead of creating a session object I write a create a cookie here so for that let me comment out this so now I say cookie which is located in HTTP sub package so cookie ck equals to new cookie of the name is some u name and the value is str. Next we need to set or simply add to the response response dot add cookie of ck add to the response and give a link to the second servlet. So when the second servlet is visited here again we don't require any session object now. So here cookie has to be retrieved. So, so we have cookies on request object. So, request dot get cookies would give me a cookie array. So, just capture in cookie array. Say ck. So cookie is located in HTTP package so import that first 
and then since I have only one cookie I just print CK of 0 that is the first cookie got dot get value would give me the value so let's see run on server finish so enter now so this is my first servlet in which I have printed username and the link so when I click on the link it is going to the second servlet and just printing the cookies get value method so this is for how we use cookies next is URL rewriting so here we append a token or identifier to the URL of the next servlet when we are giving the next servlet's name we give uh, the name value pair along with the URL so that is using URL and the name value pair and each name value pair is separated by an ampersand symbol so here when the first user enters go button it goes to the first servlet and when the in the first servlet when the user clicks on visit it goes to the second servlet and prints the user name by appending the name value to the URL so let's see how it works so here in the first servlet after getting username from the form so we don't need a cookie now so while calling the second servlet I just say you name equals to plus and plus again not in, it is str so along with the u name the value the corresponding value is the str which is retrieved from the form and in the second servlet I just print like I just say request dot get parameter of u name this I'll store it in a string n and here I just say n so let's run and check run as run on server say so next just remove the unused applications to reduce the burden on the server and then say finish so that the server restarts So here when I say look now so it is printing welcome the username and the link and here it is not printing so let's see what happened so we are able to the cookie name is you name corresponding values str so in the second servlet I need to get request dot get parameters of your name so the error is we have ended this servlet name here itself that single code is ended here so we need to remove here and it has to end after the value that is here before the link so that when we run this run on server next and say finish So here I can give the name as now and then say submit so when I say visit you can see you name and the value got appended to the URL so that's what now got printed in the second servlet next is hidden form fields so basically 
it's nothing but hidden is nothing but it's an invisible text field that is used for maintaining the state of the user and we store the information in the hidden field and get it from another server and it is always better to have a hidden field hidden form fields in if we want to submit form in all the pages and we don't want it to depend on the browser so basically url rewriting is also used when cookies are disabled from on the client machine similarly hidden form fields also used when cookies are disabled so this is how we write hidden form fields just before the name of the text field we just mention the type as hidden instead of text it is hidden so here once we enter the go and once the control goes to the servlet this is a field which is invisible it's a text field so this value we can get it in a servlet too so let's see how do we get it so in the html when the user ends the first ends the name the control goes to first servlet and here after retrieving the user name from the form we just say create another form that is out.println in which we say form action equals to second servlet then say close out dot println in which we have a hidden form field that is the type equals to text name equals to you name that is this input type i'm just giving it here and instead of type it is hidden name equals to and value equals to so here i just say it as single quotes type is hidden name is u name and the value is this plus str type equals to hidden you name is you name and the value which we are getting from the str so we need to end it properly be very careful while writing the quotes so i think this is not required yeah so and again i need a submit button that is out dot println input type equals to submit so when a user clicks on submit it goes to the second servlet in the second servlet i'm just retrieving from as if i'm retrieving from a form that is request dot get you get parameter of you name and just print the username so let's run and check So it is going to the first servlet it printed welcome swapna and it printed a form where we cannot see a hidden form field here but when we click on submit we will be able to retrieve the value of that hidden form field thereby maintaining the client request so this is all about hidden form fields that's all with the session thank you